through your journey, you know? And I mean, I'm happy with sitting here talking about early YouTube, but like just the diff but like your perspective is gonna be completely different because you were uploading. And my mm -hmm. perspective was just so like casual with it. So it's interesting to hear from a creator from that era, yeah. you know. And uh, so you said you mentioned that you were that you were meeting people on YouTube early. Who who yeah. who are you? Like so, I'm guessing because Andy Milanakis <laughs> was on Grind Time that you might have made friends with him. On nah, I was the one. I, yo, I met him after he was on Grind Time. I think Lush set that up. I'm in the nasty. Um, but I think like that, like back then, like people who made videos, like we would we would message each other. It would be nothing to just be like, I saw your video. That shit was crazy, and then like form a relationship or get someone's number and talk to them. You know what I'm saying? But um, hmm. man, I had it was it was crazy because back then, like. All right, so the, his was something crazy first. You remember, obviously, y'all know Ron Artest, a.k.a. Metal World Peace, a.k.a. the panda and China's friend and all this shit. We, in the, like, in, like, the first year of grind time, he uploaded a video after a game in his hotel room. Like, yo, I thought this dude, they said this dude won the battle, but I thought this dude won the battle. It's like a 20-minute blog about, you know, battles. That's the first battle rap blog I ever saw. Ron you know Artest was the first athlete there then. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, like, NBA players watch this shit? What the fuck? You know what I mean? But it became, it, it just, you know, now it's, they come to the battles and shit like that. But, like, it's crazy. Like, this, this random shit. Like, Vanilla Ice wanted to come to a battle in the beginning. Like, just some fucking random shit. It, like, blew my mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> that That's that when is I started and the YouTube blew up. You know what what really got things popping was um I'm in class at college and um my my boy uh Mike P 1080p he's a, he's a director and shit he's really dope. Um uh, I was sitting next to him in school and he's like, "Yo, um you ever heard of World Star?" And I was like, "Nah, what's that?" And he's like, "Yo, cuz he's from Jersey." He's like, "Yo, everybody in New York, Jersey is watching World Star." Like, what is that? He's just like, "Yo, it's just a site where they like upload videos." This is like at the beginning, of like the first year of World Star. You know what I'm saying? It's probably a couple months in. And he's like, "Yo, you should have them put up some grind time videos." And I'm like, "All right." So I reached out. I sent World Star an email and Q, the RIP to him, the founder of World Star. He hit me back with his number. And it, this is how early it was. You could just get somebody's number. You know what I'm saying? And and I got on the phone and I'm like, "Listen, I heard World Star is blowing up. I see that the views you're getting." If you put every grind time battle on World Star, we'll put the World Star logo on all of our videos, right? So it's like as World Star blew up, fucking yeah. grind time blew up at the same time. That that helped a lot too. You know what I mean? Because then what would happen was like you know like these aggregators to show you like how much views you get on different sites and stuff like that. People were taking content off World Star and posting it to a bunch of different sites. So then our viewership was like multiplied by 10. We were already doing our thing on YouTube, but then every single hip hop site and blog was taking our battles. Like battles that like people don't even remember now that have no historical relevance were on every fucking, I'm sure fucking Flago yeah, yeah. had a couple battles on World yeah, yeah. Star. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. The wave was definitely there and that was definitely, um, <clears throat> as someone who was like at that time, right? Like, looking at everything I felt like a little late but mm -hmm. still earlier than most of my friends right because like I see my friends and how they operate with the internet and they're still that way where like it's kind of like with hip-hop where it's just like yeah we're fans super fans like we listen to Hot 97 all day and it's just like no 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 you don't get it that's it's different you know what I mean yeah. like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like we're we're even more like harder you know and so World Star was definitely like a super plus because New York, that was how I got known in New York, like super way more than anything that I was doing in the streets and battling at Fight Club, all these things that they were accolade, it was all cool, but it didn't get me stopped in the streets of New York City cool, you know? And Grind Time, because of being on World Star at that time, was like 
that level of cool where it was like, yo, I'd get stopped places and people would be like, yo, Dutch Vega. And I'd be like, oh, shit, about fucking time. <laughs> Recognize yeah. the name. <laughs> so the, the, but, funny, the funny thing is that when Grind Time started, it was like, all right, when you do five battles, when you reach the fifth battle, you get the battle for $500. Like that was the whole thing we made up. Hold on, can we, can we like, yeah, that's...